I don't care what anybody says, what anybody calls a lie or a rumor. Yeah. If I wouldn't have took that dog that night, yeah. when I took him, he'd be dead right now. I know. There's no doubt. There's no so doubt. So in the rescue community, like the Houston SPCA is the one place that we always say do not ever bring a pit bull. Right. Because they, they, they say so they kill, but they deem it un unadopted. So there's an awareness. So people do know this. You you know. I was this. there. I, I watched these, these, these vets for three days. There was there was no food for the dogs until it started coming in Friday. They were feeding the dogs their own food. I fed the dogs. Was able to feed the dogs with scraps Scrats. and bones. But these vets were feeding the dogs their own food. And they cry. weren't they, and crying. They weren't eating. And who were they, these vets? Were just these volunteers from all over the country. I mean, from Colorado, New Mexico. Oh, so they were letting. Vets come in that was before state. SPCA came in. Yeah, the second SPCA came in. As soon as SPCA came in, they started just kicking people out, making hour restrictions. And you go through there, and we go through there earlier, and every freaking kennel was full. Now there's 20 empty kennels the first hour, all the pit bulls. Right now, everything was under control. When I got here earlier, everybody was taking care of the dogs. They're being they're being vetted. They had water. These are people's these are people's pets. They had to get out. They had to get evacuated, and they had to leave their pets, knowing that they could come back here and pick up their pets. Now, if they're going to be if, if they start euthanizing uh, pit bulls, they're euthanizing people's pets. Think that they are euthanizing people's pets. If, if that's SPCA and they're euthanizing people's pets, why would you want to donate to a, 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 a rescue like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm so frustrated. I'm hearing you. All, all these are, and this is just recent. There's plenty of room in here for more animals. There's plenty of room. What are we? What are we rushing for? There's absolutely no reason to rush. Why? I think, I think it might be volume, maybe. There's, there's not volume more, here. There's plenty I mean, there's, of room. There's more we got, coming. we got, Matt, we got, we got plastic do out there. Do you think? Do you think they're going to euthanize? Though, do you think they're going to? That's do what that? I'm here to. That's what I'm here to 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 find out. Has if, anyone spoken to you about that yet? No, I am been. I rushed back over from a water rescue that I was turned away from. And I'm telling you right now. That's another thing. Beaumont does not care about pets. As far as as far as the police department, as far as state police, they don't give a shit if we get in there to get pets or not. I've been turned around, I've gone back to Dallas, get more supplies, brought them back here for humans and their animals. And I'm telling you right now, Beaumont, please, the Highway Patrol, they don't give a crap about the animals. I was, yeah, I was in the Ford Center, I fed, I mean, all the volunteers from Thursday till Sunday to Sunday. Volunteers, the Army, the National Guard, the, well, they were stationed out, like the National Guard and the Army and the Marines were stationed there. At, well, the, at, at the Ford, Ford Center, because well, they were putting all those big kennels together. For well, the, they, well, they were based out of there. They had all their equipment doing the rescues and, and stuff. All and then the, all the animals were there. Like, I got there Thursday. Who was supposed to be feeding those people? You would think the government would be, but, you know, that's not my question. I was, they just I had, know, they I had was eaten, just curious you know. if you knew. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, the on-scene commander is friends with my cousin, and she told him that they hadn't eaten. And she hadn't been able to feed her guys. She was crying. She couldn't feed her guys. So, well, you know, we're like, well... We can do it. We can feed people. But we are good at that. So I, I went down with basically a trailer load of hot cooked food. Oh, okay. It was got ready it. to serve. Yeah. And then my cousins came with their big smokers. Yeah. And we cooked for the rest of the weekend with their stuff. And I'm looking at shelters for dogs, I've seen every one of them is full of pit bulls. Ninety percent right. full of pit bulls, and it sucks. Right. And it's the owners, it's not the dogs. Right. You know, and it sucks. But one of the girls was crying. She yeah. still eat with us, crying. Was this a vet? Taking, yes, a okay. vet that had volunteered from like New Mexico. And she's like, this, you know, and it's talking about the crying about the dogs disappearing. And I walked so over they there. were coming after they closed down for the night after eight o'clock. And they were taking them off in trucks. And they were. And they were trying to kick. They kicked everybody out. They didn't have enough. There were few volunteers. that were still inside. And they couldn't, you know. And uh, and y'all were still there because you were feeding them all. That's right. They could. Yeah, they they, they, they could, weren't kicking y'all out. out. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So you what was that? Saturday night or Friday night? Saturday night. Saturday night. And this was more, I think, the National Guard. So the first two days, they were being overwhelmed with animals. They, you know, and they didn't have food. They were having to let some of them be adopted out because they didn't have any way to take care of them. You know, and it was all volunteers, but then like an SBCA came in, and uh, basically, I mean, they, they were instantly pit bulls started disappearing. I mean, 20 empty oh freaking pit bull kennels. See? And, and uh, this was, you know, that that's why I took it. I was, you know, I can't risk bringing an adult dog pit bull. I don't know around my kids. Right. I totally understand that. And him, I was like, man, this little guy doesn't deserve to die. So and how? So was SP, the SBCA had already taken over by the time you got yes. him? So I gave. I filled out. Some, there, there was an SBCA volunteer. I guess she had a heart. 
there was a vet there. She had like an SPCA shirt on it? Yeah, she, she, had, she, had, a, she had actually she had the, the, bad the SPCA badge. badge. Okay. Two o'clock in the morning. Chaotic. Yeah. yeah. And uh but uh, yeah, it was a long it was a crazy. So you filled out paper and you gave all your information. They took pictures of the dog. And they had pictures of the dog. They knew you were I, taking the I had dog. my phone number and knew I was taking the dog. And you never ever heard never, of him. I've never heard a word from him. I've got the little collar that was on him. Okay. That's over there. I mean, but That's it's, fine. It's too small for him now, so I just got him a bigger right. one. But it didn't because have a tag, it didn't have tag on him. Well, see, and they all three of her dogs had That's what I, yeah. all their tags I mean, did, on him. I had him I had him scan to see if there's a number I could call. Because I knew somebody you know, yeah. would want Yeah. That's weird, um, though. It's like, how did the tags get removed? Yeah. So, you know, in... With all of that, and in the meantime, I was obviously in contact with the owner directly. Right. With the two specific breeds, the third one still had its. Yeah, the tag, third one, the Chihuahua Chihini. still had. Yeah, it's like See, a Chihuahua. That, 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 that says it all. That says it all. But this dog and the Roddy had their collars on still, but all their tags mysteriously right. disappeared. So that just, that's kind of how it happened. For all the people who in the rescue community understand everything that happened with this dog without me telling them. Right. Help save a life today. Your donation will send the World Animal Awareness Society team on our next mission. From all of us here at the World Animal Awareness Society and WA2S Films, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while.